Hey everyone, welcome to an outdoor edition of Total Body Conditioning. I got a little tired of being indoors and it's beautiful outside today. So grab your stuff and join me outside. If you wanna stay inside, this workout will work out. <laughs> this workout will work out. All I have with me is an eight pound medicine ball and a towel that I can use on the ground. The rest is all body weight. So I'm gonna set my timer and we're gonna get moving. So let's get started with the warm up. This is gonna be a cardio and core workout. So I'm gonna start with just high knees. Just lifting the knees straight up in front, pumping the arms. And then I'm gonna add that, a reach and a drop with the arms. Reach and drop. Alright, 
let's go to some one minute drills. All right, let's come down onto a mat or a towel for plank pose. So you can tuck your toes under, tuck your tailbone, press your hands into the earth and open up the shoulder blades. Shift forward just a little bit without putting any stress in your wrist. And then just really hug in, tighten your muscles. Tight is like low belly, so relax your neck. Try not to hike up too much. More importantly, try not to sag your hips down. Good, strong, steady plank. The core is engaged. Notice your breathing. You can keep your breath steady here. Plank shouldn't cause you to hold your breath. Four, three, two, one. Go ahead and come down around onto your back. And let's do bicycles. One minute of bicycles. Over your hips, fingertips on the back of your head, alternating elbow to knee. Get a nice rhythm going here. An actual rhythm of movement through your back. You want the navel into the spine. Keep it pressing your rib cage down. Pulling your shoulder up. Breathe in one side, out the other. Switch that about halfway through. Give 20 seconds. Your strong core. Smile on your face. Do your thing. Five, four, three, two, one. Pop yourself up onto your feet. All right, <clears throat> checking the time. Here we go. Knees up like we did in the warm up. Knees up. Stand tall. Knees. Eight. Six. Four. Three. Two. And then run it. Knees as high as you can get them. It's a fast jog. Knees up. Eight. Seven. standing up. Have fun yet? Woo. We got this. We got it. Four, three, two, one. Shake it out. All right, let's move to some crunches with the feet up. So put your towel or your mat down and find something to put your feet up on. Knees up over your hips, elbows wide, and you're just gonna crunch here. Every time you lift, exhale. And I'd like you to flex your feet and press down through the backs of your heels. So keep your elbows outside of your peripheral vision. Just nice and steady, not too fast. Really engaging all the muscles of the core. So in addition to crunching your rectus abdominis tighter, think of the whole core squeezing in tight. If you want a little more challenge, lift your hips as you crunch. A little bit of a hip lift, using your hamstrings, your calves, engaging your core in a different way. Eight more. We hug it in nice and tight. Four, three, Two and one, your hips drop, arms reach overhead. So you're gonna use your arms now as added resistance. Try to keep your chin lifted, arms right by your ears. Quite a bit more challenging. Keep breathing. Eight more. Keep it in tight. Four. Three, and two, one, rest down. Okay, continuing with this core and cardio workout and hang out in the core a little longer. 
So go ahead and sit up with your spine super straight. If you have a med ball, grab it. Sit all the way up straight and just rotate. We'll call this level one. Okay, layer one. Good rotation of the core. The ball stays in close to your body. A dumbbell is gonna work just fine for this. in and then to challenge yourself lean back a little bit but not so much that you round your back so you want your spine to look the same back here as it does when you're sitting upright think of rotating your elbow as if it's going to touch the ground behind you eight more four three two one on your back legs in the air. Take this mud ball and you're just going to lift it up and you're crunching now like you're trying to touch the ball to your toes. If your arms are long enough, maybe you can. Core, 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 baby. Press straight up. Straight up. Let's go eight more. Really hug it in. Five, four, three, two, one. Ball comes close to the chest, bicycle leg. So now you're just gonna touch your knee to either your ball or your dumbbell. You don't really have to move your upper body. You're flicking and holding through this bicycle. Feel your abs, stay, stay focused on what you're working. Give your attention to what's working. Eight, seven, three, two, one, and release your feet. Let the ball go. Come back down to regular crunches. Do a few of these to feel the difference. Hug it in tight. Chin up, head press back into your hands. So always try to remember not to pull on your neck here, but press back instead. Knees come close together. Raise one leg. Hold it in tight through your core. Three, two, switch legs. Eight here. I'm like putting a footprint on this side. Straight up. Four, three. Hug it in both legs. Eight, seven, six. Shoulders lift. All right, now stay lifted lower and cross the bicycle with a straight leg. Slow and smooth. Abs should be burning right now. Mine are eight, seven. Keep breathing. Four, three, two, and one. Hug your knees in. Give them a little bit of a break. All right, come around to plank. Find your strength again here. We started here earlier. Come back to this place. Take your feet a little wider and opposite hand to shoulder. Off your opposite hand to shoulder. Feel yourself rocking a little bit, but try to stay stable. Hug it in tight. Eight more. Four, three, two, one. Drop your knees, take out your wrists, and we'll do a little further variation of that. All right, here we go. So, take your feet wide and reach your right arm forward. Hug in tight through the core. Six. Left arm all the way forward. Down, right leg up, hold with your glute. You know where this is headed, right? Left leg up. Now, right arm, left leg. Switch. Left arm. Woo! Right leg. And lower. Drop it down. Shake it out. 
Woo. All right, come to standing for some side bends, lateral movement. Imagine holding weight in your hands and you're just dropping that weight side to side. Trying to feel those obliques, those muscles here in the side of your body, moving you from side to side. We did a lot of work there in the front. Paying attention now to the lateral movement of the side body. Go a little bit faster. And if you want, pick one elbow up, creating a little bit more effort. And that arm can come all the way up. Now you've got a bigger stretch and also more weight inside that's working. Let's transition to a little bit of cardio. So we're just going to move side to side. Layer one. Level one, the easiest place. And you can stay here as long as you like when it gets harder. Four, three, two. If you want to make it harder, little side hop. Step touch, a little propulsion. Layer two. And stay with that. We can go back to layer one. To make it harder, skip still, let speed skate. Tuck the toe behind. Let your arms go with you. Beautiful. Four, three, two, one. Come back to center. Do a few squats. Can I get back to neutral? Use the muscles. Major muscles, keep the heart rate up. You're breathing. Exercisers holding their breath. All right, come back up. One more set, side touch. Easy. Layer one, no impact. Or let's say, light impact. Layer two, a little step hop, a little hop. I tell by my breath, this is cardio. You want to make it harder? Feet skate away, baby. Your arms go with your legs. Touch way behind. Now it's in tight, tall spine. Let's go eight more of your choice. Squat it out for me. Whew. Time stop, huh? Gotta love it. Come down and hold your squat. Arms out in front of you. Hold and breathe. Arms out to the sides. Hold and breathe. Arms overhead. Hold and breathe. Touch the ground. Hold and breathe. Front, side, up, touch. Front, side, up. Two more times. Front, side, lift, touch. And shoot it out. All right, we're gonna do a couple more of those squats and we'll mix, the, mix these guys up a little bit. So start with neutral, regular squats. Hips pressing back. You can see from the side, my hips are way behind my heels. I can lift my toes a little. You can swing your arms if you like. And then we're just gonna drop one hand in the middle. Just gonna drop one hand to the ground right between our feet. Touch down. Keep moving. You can touch both hands if you like. Down up. Down up, right overhead. And if you're feeling it, give me a few jumps. You can stay low if you like. We'll do eight more of your choice. All 
All right, come back to regular squats. Oh, my legs are feeling it. How about you? All right, come down in a squat. Touch opposite elbow to knee. Keep breathing. Keep your spine long. Keep your abs tight. Four, three, two, and one. Come on up. Shake things out. You got it. All right, if you have a medicine ball, grab it. If you don't, you can use a dumbbell or just something else in front of you. We're gonna put it on the ground and we're just gonna tap. Give it back a little bit. Tap. Like if you're a soccer player, fast if you like. <laughs> Slow or fast, your choice. And freeze. Grab your ball or your dumbbell, squat it out. All right, we're gonna press it up as we lift. If you'd like a little challenge, little tiny toss and catch. Toss and catch. Core stays strong. Eight more. Much fun doing this outside. Hold and rotate. That's where we started. Come on, be strong. Twist, twist, twist. A little lower. Ball stays in close. Twist it out. Ball to the ground, hands on the ball. Pause here with a flat back, soft knees, and rotate one arm up and the other. Going, lift and breathe. Rotate at the torso, spine stays straight. Take a quick stretch, head drops down. All right, what do you say? One more little cardio finish. All right, so feet together, you're gonna lift and lower. Lift and lower, we'll call this layer one. Layer two, tiny hops. Jumps technically because we're using two feet. Layer three. One foot. That's a hop. And switch it. And then we're just going to go back and forth, switching foot to foot. If you're on the floor, if you're not jumping, you can just lift a knee. Or you can jump hop or jump. Woo. Nicely done, everybody. Are you ready for a little stretch? Come down. Left elbow, left shoulder, left knee. Deep breaths. And switch. Take it across. Core stay strong. and grab your mat or a towel let's stretch out go ahead and come down to a seat take the left hand to the floor bring your right arm up and over 
them into this nice long side stretch. Just reaching, breathing, feeling the after effects of a great workout. And as you come back to center, put your hand on your head and just let your neck come to the side. A little bit of weight with your hand. The left arm is reaching out to the sides. You can close your eyes if you want and just feel your body slowing down. Feel your breathing coming back to normal. Feel the muscles stretching. Keep your eyes closed, drop your right hand, lift your left arm up and over, find a nice side stretch. Deepen your breath. If you're one of those people that always turns the video off right now, I ask you to stay. Give yourself two minutes to just stretch your body, to cool down, to put a little pause between what you've been doing and what you're doing next and gently brings the head up and over. Sit with a tall spine. I know in my life I don't do that enough. I run from this thing to that thing and I'll pack my things up and just jump headfirst into the next thing without really pausing in between. I'm really working on that lately. So these stretches at the end of a workout really give us a chance to just pause and be present. Close your eyes, feel your breath. Return to neutral, let your arm come up high and then just rotate to your right side, let your spine twist. Pull your left shoulder blade onto your back and look slightly crazy as you can. Keep that hand on the knee, the opposite arm crosses over. So your arms are crossed in front of you, chin to chest, round your back and stretch between your shoulders. And then return to a tall spine, twist the opposite way, looking over your left shoulder, left shoulder blade on your back as tall as you can. Breathe deeply. Allow yourself to pause here in between things. Now this arm comes around, opposite arm on top, and round your back. Do the opposite, bring your fingertips behind you and press your hands into the earth while you lift your chest. Really lift your chest, find this feeling of dignity, of pride, of accomplishment. Just imagine taking up more space, making your body bigger as you leave this time together and move to whatever is next. Just come into this with a little bit more presence a bigger presence, a deliberate presence. One final stretch, let's lunge it out, stretching our hip flexors. So come to your knees, take one foot forward, and just drop your hips down. And as you're here, just let your hips release. We're doing a lot of sitting these days, but maybe you're also a runner or a cyclist, so your hip flexors get the pounding. Tuck the back toes, lift that knee, press through your back heel, and then drop the knee, come up to switch. On the knees, the opposite foot forward, let the knees, the hips drop down. Feel that hip flexor lengthening as the breath is deepening. Tuck the back toes, press back through the heel. So 
I hope as I leave you today, you are standing a little taller. You've got a little more space in your body, strength in your muscles. I'm super grateful to you for showing up and I'll see you the next time we do total body conditioning.